Guys, girls, gamers, everyone, it's me, Channel Imparts, and we are back in If My Heart Had Wings. We are currently in the goodbye or the farewell party for Ag Amane, and yeah, we just talked with um, the people, or, or we all talked about what happened to Iska. So let's see what, what happened. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
はいはい本当ですか吉沢さんわかりました明日の朝一番で取りに行きます Anchen grins as he ends the call What is it? Yorogobe, o m a r a Oh, the winch is, the winch is completed. When he told us, he suddenly, we suddenly became about twice as excited. Then. Amade <laughs> Senpai! She on fire? No.、Hmm? Oh, thank you. Tomorrow, the winch is. As we tell her, Amani tilts her head and looks at us dubiously. We can start testing again from tomorrow. She doesn't look too happy about it. We forgot all the last remnants of summer. We were already thinking about the next day. Extends a little. Yeah. Scene. <laughs> コーシャウラにひっそりと立つ古びたガレージ誰かが使っている様子はなく誰からも見向きもされていない何か面白いものがあるかもとこっそり中に忍び込んでみた初めてあれを見た時はなんか変なものがあるなって程度で大して興味もなかったそれが180度変わったのはあの写真を見つけてから一冊のノートに大事に挟んであったそれはとても綺麗な雲の写真こんな美しい空があってもいいのってくらいグレートな空 I believe that's I, I just choose to believe that's Iska right now なんでだろうこの写真あわかったそうその写真は雲の上から撮影されていたのだ挟んであったノートのページにはこう書かれてあったなんという幸運だろう我々は風ヶ浦に突如出現したモーニンググローリーを偶然にも飛ぶことができたそれはもう奇跡と言ってもいい素晴らしい体験だったモーニンググローリー飛んだそのノート高校日誌を読み進めるうちに僕はどんどんのめり込んでいった<笑>雲の写真はこのガレージを使っていた人たちがグライダーという飛行機に乗って空の上から撮影したものでそのグライダーにはエンジンはついてなくて風に乗って雲の上まで飛ぶんだという一体どんな気分だろう風に乗って空を飛ぶのはあの美しい雲の回廊を渡るのはそうして思いを巡らせた時もう僕の心は決まっていたそこに打ち捨てられたグライダーを修復し雲の彼方を目指そうと 99% sure、it's 次の日僕は早速そのグレートな計画を親友に打ち明けた日も暮れてきたし今日はこの辺にしときますかアギア said that as I was taking a break after returning from a flight We can go one more time, can't we? We still have a bit of time before the sun completely sets この辺り街灯なんてないし日が落ちる前でもかなり暗くなるよそしたら着陸の時危ないじゃん She's right Just now when we came back it was hard to see the runway and my depth of perception was messed up というわけで今日はもうおしまいコトリ撤収するよ Did Kotori get her flight? アギア called Kotori on her cell phone Currently Kotori is by the winch 今日はもう終わりか。Yeah, though the perfect wind for training has just started blowing. しょうがない。事故を起こすわけにはいかないからな。No, we don't. Amani looks towards the eastern sky as she speaks. 
there, as always, is the same orange glow of the sunset. It looks like the sign didn't appear again. The sky indicated that nothing would happen the following morning. I watched her from the side while she looked to the sky and her face seems seemed to be filled with impatience. Since the winch came back, we've been doing as many test flights as possible every day. Did Katori get her flight and why didn't we get to see it? I want... Aww. There are adjustments to be made to the glider, but the main objective is for Amane and I to do flight training. Around 600 meters. Oh, yeah, but it's still hard to ride the therm thermals. Thermals are vertical drafts formed by air heated by the Earth's surface. They occur more easily in areas where the temperature above the ground rises easily, like soil or asphalt. By catching these thermals, we can fly to higher altitudes. However, the thing we're chasing is the wind, which is invisible. It's not easy to catch. Even after riding it well, the wind is unpredictable. The wind flow and strength is not stable. It might disappear at a moment's notice. But if we don't get good at riding it, we won't be able to fly high enough to reach the passage of clouds. Mm. Amana looks down with a blank expression and, without even attempting to eat it, plays with her pasta with her fork. You didn't like it? Oh, yeah. Her smile, it's, it's, it's just so cute. She gave a faint smile and prodded at her pasta. I looked towards Agea and Shrug. Katori was next to Amane, absorbed in reading the book that she had borrowed from the library. Why don't you do that after you're finished eating? It's no good. She's not listening. Katori, for a long time, has been finding out about morning glory. Morning glory. Since we started the test flights, Katori, being disabled, has had nothing to do except operate the wind. Why didn't you take her on a flight when you did so much flights? It was like... Uh. That's why she seems to be thinking I'm useless. She was really involved in the construction of the main wings too. So that's not true at all. But because of this, we found out about something important. A few days ago, after the farewell party, Hibari translated from the book, written, written in English after being pestered by Kutori. It's a book about morning glory. According to this, the clouds that appear above Australia can have total lengths of approximately 1000 kilometers. It's not just one cloud that appears, it can be many at the same time. When the sun comes up, the temperature increases and the clouds disappear. There's only about two hours before that happens. For the local people, this is a sign of rain and raging winds blow beneath the clouds. The altitude of the clouds is about one or two kilometers. If you can ride the vertical drafts, well, it's possible to reach those altitudes. メカニズムが分かれば予想は立てやすくなるけど風が裏とオーストラリアじゃ地形も気象も違いすぎるわねもっとこう分かりやすい前兆とかないのかしらここにそれらしいことが書いてあるわ。Hibari translates as she reads. 北から湿った強い風が吹き夕暮れ時東の空が紫色になる。パブの 
冷蔵庫に水滴ができたら翌日起こるんですってオッケーこの辺りにパブってあったかしら Come down, this is talking about Australia. 気温が低く湿度が高い早朝に発生することが多いですって気温が低く湿度は高く前日の夕方東の空が紫色にかちょっと待って Kudori excitedly opens a page in the old notebook. It's a flight log written by one of the old members. Hora, Koko Mite! Kudori opened it to the page that explained the signs that were seen on the day the photograph was taken. In other words, the day that the morning glory had occurred. It seems that they did a test on that day and there was detailed information on the weather conditions in the flight log. Test on the 16th hour of the day was 23 hours. その後、日暮れから強い風が吹いて肌寒いくらいだったって書いてあるわ。This was written in the remarks column. They went to the effort of writing it, so that must mean that it was quite a big change in air temperature. As for the color of the sky, it doesn't say. The important thing is, the log was written without the knowledge that today morning glory will occur. Will occur. They wrote this without realizing that this was the sign of the morning glory. Since then, Katori has been checking the weather forecast every night and reading books about weather like she's trying to become a weather forecaster or something. So, the three signs that indicate the coming of a morning glory are as follows. The day before, a warm, strong wind blows and the temperature is high enough to cause water droplets to appear on a fridge in a pub. At dusk on the day before, the eastern sky is purple. It's much colder than most summer days. Perhaps this information isn't, isn't just nonsense and this will, is all we had to go on? Ne, Aoi! Who was the first time? I'm not sure. Every day we take turns to wake up before dawn to see whether or not those clouds have appeared. Even if there are no signs the day before. Whose turn is it today? Um, Ageas, it's yours. Isn't it you? Uh, it's you, isn't it, Agea? Are so <laughs> I'm. Yeah. Hey, don't try to play dumb. Well then, I'd better quickly have a bath and go to bed. If the morning glory does come, we have to fly right away. That's why we covered the glider on the runway and just covered it up with a sheet. Even if it doesn't occur, we can still start doing test flights from early in the morning. It's a little rough, but it doesn't look like it's going to rain, so there isn't much we can do. There's no way we can let this one in a million chance pass us by. Huh? It's still dark outside my window. My alarm isn't ringing either. Even so, I managed to wake up on my own. Do we have a nice little bonding moment? Uh, this feeling's already familiar. This open happened the day before a competition. Outside, the eastern sky hasn't begun to get any brighter. Um, it's a gear's turn, so she should be awake by now. If she's not, I'll give her an ear bashing. Oh, there she is. <gasps> huh? Oh no, did I startle you? Sorry, sorry. Oh, it's it's whispering. As I, s I say, as Agia looks at me, she opens her eyes even wider. That's not whispering! That's not whispering at all! Oh, the reaction bewildered me. What is her deal? Why? Because I'm awake. Well, kind of. Well, tense, I opened my eyes. This happens a lot for before competitions. I try to stay calm, but I'm really always anxious. 
so. So why is everything in in? <laughs> What's going on with her? What's wrong? Oh. oh, she talked to herself. Huh? Were you humming a song or something? What are you talking about? Huh? What the hell is going on? I've only just gotten up and my brain isn't really working yet, so I can't find the energy to continue asking about it. So, how's this guy? Oh, very professional, thank you. Yep, yeah, seems like it. I knew as soon as I came outside. It's dawn, so the breeze is cool, but it's not as cold as the temperature in the readings. There's hardly any wind even. On the side of the sky, well actually a whole thing is filled with stars. Sure is. To say that the sky is pretty only means that it looks like the phenomenon we were hoping for won't occur. Seems like it's no good. Yeah, <coughs> sorry. It's taboo to talk about losing before a competition. She shouldn't have to tell me that. Even so. Because of the time, the position of the twinkling stars are quite different. The so-called summer constellations are disappearing into the west. The ones in the sky now are the fall constellations. The great square of Pegasus and the W-shaped Cassiopeia for example, I guess. Maybe the eastern horizon, the winter constellation of Orion would just be peeking out. It's strange to think that the stars would be coming out as we sleep. Dane. Her eyes sparkle as she looks up at the stars. Perhaps I'm making the same face as her. What is? <laughs> you are very vague to this morning. I see what you mean. Our past selves wouldn't believe it. Back then we were afraid of this place. We would play at the secret base and when we got tired from playing, We'd go to the old shopping district and eat ramen at Taiyuken, then go home and collapse into a bed. We can't go back to those nostalgic days. Yeah, I mean, I moved away, came back five years later, got a job at the witch mansion and flew a glider at dawn. When I say it like that, it seems so unbelievable. Aoi <laughs> niwa me? うん。青井が戻ってきてくれて、ここの寮母になって。だから、天根先輩と知り合いになれて、グライダーなんてものにも関われた。そうでなかったら、普通にロボット部で大会目指してただろうからね。そう、doesn't <笑> Agia made a lovely face as she smiled. Even at this hour, I can see it clearly. She looked back up at the starry sky. I traced the lines of her chin and neck. And this is where I leave you hanging until the next episode. I'm... Sorry, not sorry. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye!